Good evening, you're with the News Hour. I'm Madhudas Gopalakrishnan. On the show today, the top focus story at this hour is really the disruption in Parliament. It's been two weeks since the monsoon session of Parliament began. Nine sittings that have taken place in all, but Parliament continues to be disrupted on the Pegasus issue. Today, for instance, there was a discussion that was to be held as far as COVID-19 is concerned in the Lok Sabha. However, what we saw was continued disruptions in the lower house of Parliament and even an important issue such as COVID-19, which was incidentally discussed in the Raj Sabha last Tuesday, was not allowed to take place. While the opposition insists that there are important issues of privacy and snooping that are taking place as far as the uh, Pegasus spyware issue or scandal is concerned, the fact is that the government says 315 members of parliament and their will too is being ignored in the Lok Sabha when debates such as COVID-19 are not allowed and that due to minor issues, parliament is being disrupted. The larger question is that isn't the parliament ultimately for legislation and shouldn't we as citizens be looking forward to these legislations taking place? Important legislations, for instance, are now being passed without even a debate or a discussion. 7 minutes, 12 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. That's the time duration that very, very important bills are taking to, in fact, pass through either House of Parliament, whether the Lok Sabha or the Raj Sabha. The larger question is, as citizens, aren't we the ones who suffer when Parliament does not do what it's supposed to do, which is deliberate over bills, object, uh, add, uh, subtract from these bills and controversial provisions which just sail through without any checks and balances from the side of the opposition parties? That's the question that we're asking today. Don't want to pass a bill without discussion. And there are, as I have already told, there are so many issues which are directly related to the poor people of India. Let them raise the issue. Let them suggest government is ready for the discussion. But most unfortunately, they are not allowing the parliament to run. And the question of our is the right of the members. All the, more than 350 members want the question of us. विपक्ष वो हल्ला करता रहता है भारत सरकार ने प्रधानमंत्री जी ने हमेशा कहा है कि जो उपयुक्त विषय हैं चाहे वो किसान का हो चाहे वो अन्य विषय हो उन पर भारत सरकार चर्चा करने के लिए हमेशा तैयार है वी हैव वेलकम्ड एवरीवन टू कम एंड डिस्कस इशू कंसर्निंग द पब्लिक और अदर इशूज इन द पार्लियामेंट सेशन बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली दर बींग पॉलिटिक्स नॉट डिस्कसिंग द इशू रिलेटेड टू द कॉमन मैन सुषमा स्वराज भी डाले थे और उन्होंने यही कहा अरे ये डिस्ट्रप्शन करना भी ये पार्ट ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी का हिस्सा है तो जब आप कर सकते हैं और हम देश के हित में लोगों के हित में आज़ादी के लिए और डेमोक्रेसी के लिए हम जब ये कर रहे हैं पूछ रहे हैं आपसे तो आप हमको इस ढंग से ब्लेम कर रहे हैं कि हाउस को चलने नहीं दे रहे Islamist terrorist is a global reality and it has to be counted but not with another, another terrorist approach. There comes the relevance of secularism. All right, we're moving on to the legitimate question. Legitimate question that we're asking this evening is that whether the government can use a majority, quote-unquote, to force agenda in the parliament. At the end of the day, there are important issues related to life, related to liberty, that really are the core of this battle between the government and the opposition. But can majority be the argument to force agenda? That's the question that we're asking. You're watching the news hour at night. Debate number one on Times Now. Super prime time. Let me take this question across to Sanju Varma, national spokesperson of the BJP, who is live with us. We also have with us Shahzad Purawala, lawyer. Srijit Panikar, political analyst, is also joining us. Uh, a. Saravaran, spokesperson of the DMK, is with us, as is uh, Professor Shogato Rai of the TMC. He's a member of parliament. Professor Shogato Rai, now you must have heard, and you were there perhaps in the house when the parliamentary affairs minister was speaking today. He says that the will of 315 members of parliament has to also be taken into account, and that is not being done when 
important issues of public interest such as COVID-19, which certainly citizens of this country want debate on. There are issues of farm uh, laws which have been raised by parliamentarians such as yourself in the past and other opposition parties. Why should all of these issues, including fuel price rise, for instance, not be discussed in the House? Because that's certainly something that directly correlates to people's aspirations as well. What the parliamentary affairs minister said is bogus. He has no importance and he has, doesn't even have a say in the government. The main point is the opposition wanted to discuss these matters. And on the opening day of parliament on 19 July, opposition had raised this issue, fuel price rise, COVID and farm laws, they are repealed. At that time, I remember on the business advisory committee, government said, we won't discuss fuel price rise. The same day, the pigacious issue broke. It concerned our very basic civil liberty. Members of parliament like Rahul Gandhi, like Abhishek Banerjee, our party leader, were being snooped upon. We took exception and we said okay. that this must be discussed. On 19th, the IT minister gave a ramshackle statement which explained nothing. We have been demanding from that day to today that the structured discussion on Pegasus should take place. The Home Minister should be present during the discussion and the Home Minister or the Prime Minister should reply. So far, the government has not responded. Okay. They are trying to pass bills stealthily, introduce bills stealthily, pass bills without debate in parliament, which is absolutely anti-democratic. Okay. And they are blaming us. Let okay. them have a discussion on Pegasus. How no, long will it take? Sir, Four sir, hours? Sir, I will, and let I will parliament say go on. That it takes they two hands to clap. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me bring in Sanju yes. Verma. Sanju Verma, the, the question that is being asked by opposition parties is this. The they are saying that the onus is... Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm putting a point across, sir. You've made several points. Let the BJP respond. Sanju Verma, simple question that is being asked by the opposition is A, it is the onus of the government to ensure that the house functions and the government has to create that enabling environment. That is the point number one that they're making. And point number two, if this is such an important issue, why not have a discussion on it on the floor of the house? Then other issues can flow along. <laughs> Sanju Verma, please unmute yourself and continue. We can't hear you. All right, I think we've lost that line there with Sanju Verma. Let me take that question across to Shahzad Purawala. Shahzad, would you like to respond to that question that has been raised by uh, Dr. Professor Sogata Roy? He says that A, onus is on the government to uh, ensure that house functions and B, why not have a discussion on this issue? Why run away from it? So I have great respect for Professor Sogata Roy and I would re request him to answer me this question very specifically. Dr. Manmohan Singh was also Prime Minister of a government where they were a part for some time, at least in alliance with the Congress Party uh, in 2011, I remember. And Dr. Manmohan Singh at that point of time, because they often quote Mr. Arun Jaitley, had said, by not allowing parliament to function the opposition, that is the BJP, is making a mockery of the democratic system. Now, when at most respect, sir, Dr. Sogata Roy, do you think Dr. Manmohan Singh was wrong back then and Arun Jaitley was right back then? Or do you think that today, according to the words of the wise uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh, the Congress party is making a mockery of the democratic system? Point number two, some of the leaders sitting here, DMK leaders sitting here, Congress sympathizers sitting here, they are the same people who said that let us have a special session for COVID because COVID is the most important. And I agree with them. Pandemic should be about politics. Why do you hold a gun to the head of the government or to the parliament and say, Ki pehle Pegasus hi hoga, fir Pegasus hoga, uske baad baki hongi? are you telling me, sir, that if they discuss, if the government discusses pandemic first or it discusses the farm laws which you wanted to discuss or it passes other legislation first and then comes to Pegasus, the, the country uh, priorities will not be uh, catered to. Point number three, sir. Today, if you are seeing the kind of productivity of the house, both houses, less than 20%, hundreds of crores of rupees has been spent of taxpayer money, sir. So what is it that you are achieving or I am achieving okay. by kind of holding this? Are you holding the government accountable by doing this? Why don't you allow for discussion? All right, all right. Three important points being made.
Three important points being made, and I want the DMK spokesperson to respond to that because DMK was part of that government. So I'm just coming back to you. I'm just coming back to you, Professor Roy. Professor Roy, I'm just coming back to you. Sanju Verma, I'm coming to you as well. I want the DMK spokesperson to answer this question because, you know, the same arguments that were used today, Mr. Kharge referred to Arun Jaitley and Sushma Swaraj's arguments when they were in opposition as far as disruption is concerned. Shahzad Punawala here raises the argument that was made by Dr. Manmohan Singh during the 